everybody it's tippic here back with another video well this is going on my tippic 200 account yeah today i'm going to be going over my weeks for week 11 of college football and this is all based off the ap poll so let's go ahead and get into it first off let's start with top ranked georgia versus number 21 tennessee first off let's talk about georgia they're coming off a big win over ole miss 52 to 17 who's a top who was a top 10 ranked team coming into that game tennessee coming off a blowout devastating loss to uh missouri and that basically blew their sec east uh hopes so uh will the volunteers upset the bulldogs in knoxville uh i do think tennessee will make this a close game uh give me georgia winning this game 34 to uh 31 i think georgia um wins this game on a game winning field goal um i know it's hard to root against the home team in this one because tennessee hasn't lost uh at home since georgia in 2021 so uh joe milton's terrible uh they they couldn't throw or run the ball against mizzou last week uh so and george is slightly better than mizzou so i uh, give me georgia in this matchup next up let's talk about second ranked michigan on the road at maryland okay so the big question will maryland upset michigan hell no uh maryland doesn't have much of a chance again now Michi maryland is a solid team but they have no nowhere near enough talent to compete with michigan uh defense michigan's defense is gonna light them up uh, Michigan wins this game by four scores. Maryland doesn't have much of a chance. M Michigan coming off a big uh, win over Penn State. So they prove they're a top dog, even without Jim Harbaugh. So uh, Michigan wins this game by four scores. Next up is the third-ranked Buckeyes versus an unranked Minnesota team. Uh, will Minnesota upset Ohio State? No. Um Ohio State's coming off a blowout home victory over Michigan State. Minnesota's coming off a 19-point loss to Purdue. Minnesota's a terrible team, so give me Ohio State by probably four or five touchdowns. This is a blowout win. Um, just Minnesota's not a good team, and Ohio has a home advantage in this one, so Buckeyes win big. Next up is fourth-ranked Florida State playing something called North Alabama. Why does Florida State have a team like North Alabama on their schedule this late in the season? Seriously, Florida State's overrated. They're going to get uh, mauled in the playoffs by whoever they play. Their only good win was the dominant win over LSU and nothing else. Uh, but obviously, they uh, continue to roll in this game. They're going to demolish North Alabama by a lot. Uh, give me Florida State by, like, I don't know, six touchdowns. North Alabama has no chance. I don't even think they're a FBS school. So, Florida State by a lot. This up is a huge uh, matchup in the Pac-12. Number five, Washington versus number 10, Oregon State. Uh, God, this is a big game. Do I think um, Oregon State upsets Washington? No, but this is going to be a really close game. I think the Beavers get a fast start. This game is at Oregon State, so the Beavers have the home advantage. I do think this game could go either way. I think Oregon State gets the fast start. Washington keeps responding. Eventually, Washington wins this game 31-27, to even though I think I could be wrong. But I do think the Beavers can pull the upset, so we'll have to see Saturday night. Next up, we have number 6, Oregon versus Arizona State. Sun Devils upset Oregon. No, uh, Sun Arizona State's just not nowhere near on the same level as Oregon. Bo Nix and the Ducks offense keeps thriving, and they will in this game. They're coming off a nine-point win over Southern Cal. Uh, their defenses looked really good, even though they gave up 27 last uh, weekend. Uh, I know Arizona State... Um, was terrible last year they look better this year but they're just not on the same level as oregon oregon blows out arizona state next up is number seven texas versus iowa state this is going to be another blowout win uh iowa state was horrendous last year they look better same scenario with arizona state but uh no iowa state is not winning this game they're still a pretty bad team they're nowhere near as good as texas i know this is 
a home a home game for Iowa State, but no, they're not really standing a chance in this game. Texas gets a a probably maybe twenty one point victory here. Uh, they know their playoff hopes are on the line, so they can't lose any more games, especially to an unranked team like Iowa State. Um, I do think Iowa State can score some points on Texas. I think they'll score about two or three touchdowns, uh, but Texas win this is winning this game, and uh, you can't change my mind. Next up is the number eight, Crimson Tide versus Chattanooga. Uh, why does Alabama have a weak game like this late in the season? I have no clue. But uh, yeah, Alabama is going to steamroll Chattanooga. Chattanooga is not uh, nowhere near on the same level as Bama. Uh, Jalen Miller will probably have himself a game like he did against Kentucky. Just, yeah, obviously, this is a big uh, home game for Bama. Bama steamrolls Chattanooga. Chattanooga has no chance. Uh, give me Bama, like, by 40. Next up is number 9, Louisville on the road at Miami. Uh, can the Canes knock off the ninth-ranked Cardinals? No, I don't think Miami will beat Louisville. Uh, they're just not on the same level. Louisville struggled mightily against Virginia last week. They play that way against in this game. I really think uh, Miami could uh, win this game, but I think the Cardinals will bounce back uh, and get this win. I think give me Louisville winning this game, thirty-four to twenty. I know Miami uh, ha had a close game with Florida State, but I don't think they're knocking off Louisville. Uh, so yeah. Back to my score prediction, uh, Louisville wins 34-20. to Next up is number 11, Mizzou versus Florida. The Tigers will uh, dominate this game, I think. Florida is going to go on to have their third straight losing season. Uh, Florida is coming off a tough home loss to LSU where they gave up 50 points. Oh my god. And uh, Mizzou is coming off that blowout victory over Tennessee. They could do this to Tennessee. It's obviously going to happen to Florida, too. Uh, the Tigers will dominate the Gators. Uh, I don't know by how much, but I just know uh, Missouri wins this game by, let's see, 14 or 21. Next up, let's talk about Penn State versus Rutgers. Obviously, Penn State will win this one with no problems. Uh, they're coming off that tough Michigan loss, but... Uh, I think they bounced back. I know Rutgers has looked pretty good the past two years, but they're just nowhere near on the same level as Penn State. So I I do think the Scarlet Knights will score some points on the Natty Lions, but overall, Penn State will probably get this blowout victory. Don't know why I'm talking about this game, because it's going to be a blowout victory, but next up is Ole Miss versus L.A. Monroe. Uh, yeah, I really don't want to talk about this game because it's a waste of time. Ole Miss is uh, blowing out this team. Uh, the Rebels come off that uh, bad loss to UGA, so um, they're going to be all fired up for this game. Um, they should blow out... Uh, uh, Louisiana Monroe. Maybe it's 2007 where L.A. Monroe upset Alabama, but obviously that's not going to happen. Ole Miss wins this game by 40, maybe 50. Uh, this is a blowout victory, and yeah. I think this next one could be a pretty interesting game. Uh, we got number 14, Oklahoma, on the road at BYU. Things first, I know BYU is a terrible team, but I know Oklahoma's been a okay and maybe overhyped team this year. Uh, they lost their little brother about a week and a half ago, which was pretty embarrassing. But I don't think Oklahoma will lose this game. But I do think BYU will make this an interesting game. Uh, they've looked okay. Their defense has been... Oklahoma's defense has been mid. Uh, I know they gave up 20 to West Virginia, who's a terrible team. Uh, but overall, I think... Um, um, well, Oklahoma will be able to win this game. Any, let's see, I'm picking Oklahoma to win 42-28 to 28 over BYU. Uh, BYU is just terrible. They're not going to beat Oklahoma, but I think they could score some points. So I'm picking Oklahoma to win this game by 14. So, yeah, score prediction, Oklahoma 42, BYU 28. Here's a game I really have to waste my time talking about. We got number 15, LSU versus Georgia State. Really even have to go depth into this. 
LSU is a really good team. Uh, well, their offense, not their defense, but uh, LSU's offense will thrive in this game. I think the Tigers will get a major victor, a uh, major blowout victory here. Um, I think Jaden Daniels will win the Heisman Trophy. That's my prediction, but we'll see. Have to see in a couple weeks. Uh, I think Jaden Daniels and the Tigers win this game. Let's see. I think I'm picking LSU's offense to score 66, and that's not a joke. I think, uh, yeah, I think uh, LSU's offense will get, uh, let's see, six, um, nine touchdowns. Yeah, so LSU wins this game like 66, nine touchdowns, one field goal, 66 to, uh, 24 because their defense is not very good at all so i do think the panthers will score some points 24 so lsu 66 georgia state 24 next up is number 16 utah versus number 19 arizona okay so do i think arizona will upset utah yeah yeah i do give me the cats for the upset of the week arizona has looked pretty good the past uh few weeks aside i know they uh they only got uh a field goal winning against uh colorado who's not really good but uh yeah give me arizona beating utah and i know that's wild i'm probably wrong on this but i do think arizona does have what it takes to upset utah if their defense plays a good game utah ha doesn't have an offense so like uh if arizona's defense plays a good thing uh, game, uh, I do think Arizona will win this game, so give me, uh, Arizona and Utah close game, how about, oh, God, how about Arizona 49, Utah 42, let's go with it, Arizona wins this game by a touchdown, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know a pointless matchup to talk about, but I gotta bring it up, so, uh, number 17, Tulane at Florida Atlantic. Uh, Tulane's offense has looked pretty good. That's why they've been ranked the past two seasons. Their defense is horrendous, though. So, um, I think uh, Tulane probably wins this game by, like, a touchdown. Uh, their defense is not good. Tulane is probably overhyped. They're like Cincinnati of 2021. So, give me Tulane winning this game. Ooh. Uh, how about... 28 to 21 over Florida Atlantic. So, yeah, Tulane wins this game uh, by a touchdown. Okay, this is a pretty big matchup. Number 19 undefeated James Madison versus Appalachian State. Okay, will the Dukes remain undefeated or will Appalachian State finally knock them off? I think James Madison wins this game. Uh, they've looked pretty good throughout this entire season. They knocked off Virginia, but they're like the worst Power 5 school. But it's still incredible to see uh them beat a power five school like that so uh james madison will probably uh get a slow start maybe appalachian state uh could go up early i don't know but um i do think uh james madison will pull away in the second half and win this game i'll go with james madison 38 to 24 over appalachian state i know college game day it's going to be there. This is a big game for the Dukes. But, yeah, I think they win this game by 14. So, yeah, give me the Dukes in this one. Next up, uh, we got Wake Forest on the road at Notre Dame. Getting into the final five matchups here. Uh, will um, Wake Forest upset Notre Dame? Hell no. Wake Forest is just not as uh, good as they were last year or the year before. So, uh, I don't think they can beat Notre Dame. But, hey, prove me wrong. I think Notre Dame will blow uh, the Demon Decons out at home, so get a good ACC victory for them. About mm, 42 to 20, yeah. Notre Dame beats Wake Forest 42 to 20, and yeah, there's not much more for me to say. Next up, we got one that I think will be a pretty good game. Number 22nd ranked North Carolina versus Clemson. Hey, okay, uh, I think Clemson wins this game. Uh, since this game is at Clemson, and uh, last year... Uh, Clemson won this game 39-10 to in the ACC title game. Uh, I think Clemson will probably win this game 
maybe by about 10 to 15. Uh, score predictions hard, but maybe, let me take Clemson 30 to 20. I say not uh, the blowout we saw in the title game last year, since Clemson isn't as good as they were last year. But yeah, Clemson uh, beats uh, UNC 30 to 20, so the Taters get the home win. Next up, we got a rivalry game. Number 23, Kansas State versus Kansas. Believe it or not, I'm picking the home team in this one. Yes, I'm going with the Jayhawks to win this game. I know that's a pretty bad pick, but I really think the Jayhawks could do it because we saw what they did to Oklahoma a few weeks ago. So give me uh, the Kansas winning this game. How about 39 to uh, 24? Yeah, um, Kansas gets a solid home win over a ranked... Uh, Kansas State team. I know uh, Kansas was ranked uh, before and lost this past weekend, so they're unranked now, but I think Kansas uh, will upset the rival Kansas State, so give me the Jayhawks in this one. This next one could be a pretty game too. Number 24, Oklahoma State versus Houston. This could be a big game. Uh, the Cowboys just got the shit beat out of them by U. UCF last Saturday, 45-3. to How do you lose to Central Florida by fucking 42? My God. But, um, yeah, Cowboys playing at the Cougars. Uh, I think Oklahoma State will win this game, but I don't know. If, they, if Houston plays a really good game, I think they could beat the Cowboys. But, damn, imagine losing to Central Florida and Houston uh, in two straight weeks. It sucks to be them, but uh, I'm picking Oklahoma State to win, but I don't know. We'll see. Next up for the next and final matchup, number 25, Liberty versus UMass. Liberty is going to steamroll Massachusetts. Massachusetts is terrible. They have been for years. I think everyone knows that. Uh, yeah, UMass is just a shitty, awful team. Uh, Liberty keeps on rolling, though. They lost Hug Freeze to Auburn uh, in the offseason season. Uh, this past year, and they got a new coach, and they're ranked again, just like they were last season, and uh, I think they're gonna blow out Massachusetts this weekend, probably like 40 to, let's see, probably 13, their defense has looked good, so I think Liberty, uh, blows out Massachusetts this week, and, uh, that's, um, my final prediction. Uh, those are all my predictions for, uh, week 11 of college football 2023. Um, I know some of you may disagree with my picks. Um, some of you may agree with some of the upsets I, uh, just said. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I do think, um, I'm gonna stand by all my predictions. We'll see what happens this Saturday. Maybe, uh, I didn't predict something right, but we'll have to see for now. Um, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you later. Peace out. <laughs>